Hi, welcome to Mad Like TV. Ngayon po ang video nito, aking tuturo sa inyo how to find the missing term to form a proportion. Tapos niyo lamang ang video nito hanggang sa dulo upang kayo ay mayroong matutunan. Now our direction is find the missing term to form a proportion in each item. Ngayon yung ating number 1 and 2, ito ay in the form of colon notation. So, ang ating gagawin, get the product of the extremes and the means, then solve for n. Ang ating given number 1, n is to 40 equals 3 is to 3. Tingnan yung multiply yung extremes, yung n times 3, that is 3n. Then, copy ang equal sign. Then, yung, yung means naman ating multiply, ito yung number na sa gitna. 40 times 3, that is 120. Then, Divide natin both side 3 divided by 3 Then itong 120 divided by 3 So cancel out itong 3 Ang matitira na lang yung n Then itong 120 divided by 3 That is 40 Therefore, ang value ng n equals 40 Ang given natin number 2 18 is to 21 equals 6 is to n Ganon din ang ating gagawin Ang extremes ay ating lang i-multiply. 18 times n, that is 18n. Kopyahin ang equal sign sa gitna. Then, ito namang means ay ating multiply 21 times 6, that is 126. Then, divide natin both side by 18, divided by 18. Then, equals itong 126, divided by 18. So, itong 18 cancel out na. Ang matitira na lang dito yung variable na n. Then, divide natin itong 126 divided by 810. That is 7. Yan po kang like TV dito sa form of colon notation. Yan po ang pag-solve ng value of n. In terms of colon notation, so get the product of extremes and the product of means. Then, solve for n. Okay, now we'll proceed the number 3 and 4. Dito naman sa number 3 and 4, siya ay the form of fractional notation. So, ang gagawin natin, since form siya of fractional notation, so you will do is cross multiply. Okay? After that, solve for n. Ganito po. So, number 3, ang given natin ay n over 8 equals 10 over 16. So, we'll do that by cross multiply. Okay, so that is n times 16, that is 16n. Then, equals 8 times 10, that is 80. Then, divide natin both side. So, 16 divided by 16. Then, equals 80 divided by 16. So, ngayon, divide natin itong 16 divided by 16, that is 1. So, cancel out na ito. So, matitira na lang yung, yung variable na n. Then, equals yung 80 divided by 16, that is 5. So, therefore, the value of n is 5. Next, number 4, ang given natin ay 20 over 5 equals 16 over n. Okay, ganun din ang gagawin. Cross multiply. 20 times n, that is 20n. Then equals 16 times 5, that is 80. Okay, then divide natin both side. So, 20 divided by 20, that is 1. So, cancel out na ito. So, ang matitira dito ay yung variable na n. Then, itong kabila naman, yung 80 divided by 20, that is 4. So, the, therefore, the value of n is equal to 4. Yan po, kamat like CV, ang pag-solve the missing term to form a proportion in each item, either colon notation or fractional notation. So, take note, the, in the form of colon notation, proportion, you just get the product of extremes and means okay in order to solve for n or the missing term to find the missing term also 
in a fractional notations, so you will do cross multiply, okay? In order to solve for n or the missing term. Kaya ngayon, kung meron kang natutunan, pakipindot naman ang like. At kung bago ka pa lamang sa aking channel, pakipindot naman ang subscribe, magin ang bell notification, o pag ikaw ay laging naka-update sa mga bagong video ni-upload sa aking channel na ito. Maraming salamat po sa inyong panonood.